how how emotional, how excited are you for tomorrow night's moment, a chance to cross off the one thing you've been dying to do in your career, and that's win a national championship? Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited for, again, a, a, a lot of different reasons. Um, you know, one is selfish reasons. Uh, the other um, is just, you know, how far our program has have come. Um, the players that are in the program, both former and current, because they have contributed in a way in which that made, made this happen by believing in the vision of our coaching staff and believing that this could take place to, to compete for a national championship, uh, to win a national championship is what they all believed in and what they all wanted. And if we're able to hoist the, the trophy, it will be for all of them. What was your reaction last night when you saw Mississippi State down in UConn and have two SEC teams in now? Um, I mean, it was great. It was exciting. It was great for, for women's basketball. Um, I'm happy for uh, Mississippi State and, and our, our conference. Um, I just think it, it goes to show what kind of uh, basketball we play uh, within our conference. It is, you know, a tough night um, every time we step on the floor. And it, it, it gave us the, play, the platform to to succeed at this level. Did you want to see that game go to maybe three or four over times? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it was it was just enough to um, to, to keep our attention. Uh, it was just enough uh, for them to you know, upset UConn because nobody had them winning. I, I thought it would be a, a tough game. Even with what happened last year, I thought it would be a tough game for the type of uh, uh, defense that, that Mississippi plays. Um, and they stayed engaged for 40 minutes, and that's pretty tough against a, a really good uh, basketball team like UConn. What are the challenges of playing a team a third time, especially well, on this stage? Right. I mean, the challenges are, you know, you're very familiar with them. You know, another challenge is um, you beat them, so you got, you know, some revenge factor um, in it. Um, but for us, you, you throw all of that out the door, especially when you're playing for a national championship. The stakes are a little bit higher. Um, you have to, you know, you have to want it more. I think it's going to come down to some intangible things. Being able to play, you know, I'll, being able to play in broken plays and staying organized is, is one thing. Um, who wants it more? You know, who's going to get those loose balls? Who's going to be able to, you know, make plays in, you know, in the moment? You know, it took us making plays in, in, in the fourth quarter uh, to win both of the games that we that we won. Um, against them early in the season. So um, it's going to probably take that and a little bit more to win a national championship. There were several big name male professional athletes uh, last night watching the games. The girls said they appreciated their presence. That was good for women's basketball. Did you like seeing that or, or did, if, even if you knew that? And um, would you like to see more of that where the male professional athletes come out and support them in sports? Yeah, I think, you know, when you're, when you're athletes, you know, athletes have a an appreciation for you know, other athletes that's playing at a high level, that's playing on the biggest stage. Um, so I'm not surprised um, at, you know, them coming out um, and supporting. Um, even if it wasn't our, you know, our, our team. Um, and I think uh, what all of us and, and probably the rest of the country needs to realize is, you know, once you look past UConn's dominance, uh, you can see, a, you know, women's basketball um, played at a really high level. We kind of lose sight of that because of, you know, how, how good UConn is. And, you know, I, I'm glad that people get a chance to, you know, see women's basketball, you know, being played, you know, at a high level, you know, minus a UConn. And then you'll have a, a better appreciation for it. What's your relationship like with your assistant coaches? It seems that you guys are really close to